You know, Paulson, why couldn't you be my son? Hey, I know Matthew's been giving you some problems, but he's a good kid. Yeah. Not that I'm not flattered. I'd give anything to be your son. I'd be honored to have you. But it's not Matthew. Although, he, he, you know, he has been uh, contributing to a lot of the gray in my hair these days. Oh, no, he looks good. It's distinguished. You're a rock star. Always have been, always will be. Well, apparently, I must share some of their habits. You're into Kabbalah now? Seems I have another son. That I don't know about? That I didn't know about. Hiya. Where's your son? Son? Rex. Oh, Rex. Yeah, do you have any idea how long he's been looking for his father? Well, he hasn't found him yet. Turns out they made a mistake. I'm not his dad. Good. I mean... Oh, I know what you mean. I know. I just meant uh, good for you, because uh, if you're back to being Ace's son... Mm, not quite. I'm Ace's grandson. I'm actually Bo's son. You know what? David Vickers is your son? According to the latest DNA results... Okay, speaking as a guy who spent last night thinking David was his dear old dad, maybe you should get somebody else to run those tests. Yeah, we're we'll running them again, but I don't think it's going to change anything. How is this possible? There was a big party the night before I left for uh, Vietnam, and Vicar's mother was here. David's mother? A girl named Emma Bradley. Why do I feel like this is my fault? Your fault? How could it be your fault, Balson? If I got smashed and went to bed with one of my father's mistresses four years ago? Okay, I know this is gonna sound crazy. Okay, so uh, you slept with Emma Bradley, and nine months later, she gave birth to David Vickers. That's the theory. And I wish I'd known, because I could have done right by her. You can't blame yourself for that. You were serving in Vietnam. Balsam, I got home from there a long, long time ago. No. And I just took what I wanted, and I never looked back. And now David Vickers wants me to take him fishing. And what about Matthew? You know, how can I tell him that he should be responsible? But I sure as hell wasn't. David's here. He told me the lad made some kind of mistake. And the good news is, he's not my daddy. You okay? I'm with Bo right now. I'll fill you in later. Okay, I'll stop by. Waitress, can I get some service? <laughs> How many times a day do you hear that? Not enough lately. Oh, I did my bit for the economy today. I've been shopping all morning, and I am starving. Okay, I will have a cheeseburger, uh, provolone, medium, a chocolate shake, side salad, fries, extra crispy, and uh, you better save me a piece of cheesecake in case I'm still hungry. Do most dancers eat like that? I'm not a dancer at the moment. I was so tempted just to stop by that food court, but why spend money? Right, hon? You do know that anything you order here, you're going to have to pay for, right? But you work here. And I give food away, I get fired. But I'm down to my last few bucks. Well, then maybe it's time to get a job, hun. <sighs> Stacy, your finances, they're none of my business. And I'm thrilled that you're here, I am. It's just Rex and I are still kind of digging out from under a lot of debt. We get by, we just don't have a lot left over at the end of the month. And so I'm meeting you out of house and home. The grocery bill is a little higher, yes. Well, it's just my metabolism. I mean, you remember when I was a kid, I used to eat like a whole batch of cookies and still be hungry for dinner. And stay a size two. Yes, I remember. Oh, well, that's dancing. I mean, you tap for two hours and there goes the pounds. Thanks for the tip. Look, Rex and I want you to feel welcome. We do. It's just you got to start pulling your weight. Roxy finally told you how your father 
Yes and no. But did she give you a name at least? Would that be the no part? She's jerking you around again. She told me all that she could. What does that mean? Look, it, it doesn't even matter anymore. I'll never find the guy. What are you gonna do? Just give up hope? Well, sometimes that's the only option left. My father is dead. It's according to Roxy. She seemed pretty honest. <laughs> How could you tell? I, I, I know she has a pretty casual relationship with the truth, but she was just in so much pain. It had to have been the truth. It's a sad end to a sad story. I just have one question. How did David Vickers end up the lucky one? So how's Matthew? Oh, he's doing fine, considering that he's smoking dope and very proud of it. Proud of it? No, I, no, I don't think he's... Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, you heard it here, boss. <clears throat> well, maybe his, his big brother can pull him aside. No, no, that would never happen. Well... Something has got to happen because I'm at my wit's end with this kid. So you talk to him? I tried. He's defiant. I even threatened to send him to military school. And I'll tell you, if he keeps this up, I just might do it.